What's happening, everybody? Tech Kid Geek, and today uh, I just want to talk about the Xbox One and the PS4 and some of the pros and cons that I kind of like and I don't like about either one of them. Right now, I'm really not impressed with either one of them because it's not. I have nothing. I have seen nothing that's groundbreaking. Where you went from the PS2 and the Xbox to 360 and the PS3, where you saw a big difference in changing games. Where they may eventually, probably a year down the line, where things are, I mean, people, where a lot of these developers get hold of these uh, consoles and some of this hardware and really see how to um, open up, you know what I mean, really explore how some of this hardware works. So, it's for showed off a lot of games. I mean, first person shooters, I'm kind of first person shootout. I mean, some people love first person shooters and things like that. I'm, I'm kind of first person shootout. But they also had games like Watchdog and things like that, where it looks pretty good, and I'm pretty interested in things like that. And plus, they got Assassin's Creed 4, which I was on current gen, so that really doesn't count in my opinion. But I do like what I saw out of their conference. They showed me mostly games. They show uh, an, an, like an Xbox Live type of show where everything's integrated and works together like that, which I'm cool with because the PS3, PSN was kind of trash to me in my opinion I, I just i wasn't a big fan of it but you know some people you know what i mean to each zone you know what i mean some people may say something different but one of the gripes i have with the ps4 was that they didn't show the system show the controller but not the system wonder why you did that but you know to each zone i guess in e3 we in a couple of weeks you want to show that but why didn't you show the system but like i said okay that's not a big deal but like i said i like the conference because they show most of the game not really a big PlayStation guy. I had PlayStation 3, and I like Uncharted. God of War was a good game. There were some other good games on it, but, you know, I just didn't really like the system, personally. Xbox One. Really? Okay, here's my great one. You showed me the system, the Connect, and the controller, which is cool. You showed me games of trailers of games. Really? And then you showed me a bunch of social media things like that, and... TV, TV connectivity, I, I, I don't really care about that. Give me a game where I got to say, yo, I got to get that system just for that. Like with 360, it was Gears of War for me. That was the game that made me go get that system. For PlayStation, it was, to be, to be honest with you, it was Uncharted. I liked that game. It was just pretty much a rip off of Gears of War and Tomb Raider and kind of mixed into a better overall game. But that's what it was. And God of War was a good game too. God of War 3 was a good game. I'm not going to say that wasn't. But that was one of the main reasons why I liked those systems, but it had games that made me go out there and get it. And even when the Xbox 360 first came out, it had the game Call of Duty 2. That it was a World War II game, but it looked amazing on the system, and it made you want to go get that system for that game at the time. So, Xbox conference was just oh man, it was just a bunch of social media stuff where I'm just tired of Netflix. And who, I mean, you can get that pretty much on anything. Give me something where when I play on Xbox Live. I got to have it because it's going to do something that they ain't going to do in this system. I mean, give me that which they did not do. Now, with the PlayStation, they had that situation where you know they had them uh, had plenty of games. I can't. I mean, th that's what you buy a video game console for, for the games, not no play Netflix and Hulu Plus on it. You you play you buy it for games. You want to play games at the end of the day. Talk about this used game thing where. Sony didn't say much about it, but that don't mean it ain't up to it. Where Microsoft said where you can play the game at another person's house at a fee or whatever. and But they didn't really specify what it's going to be. Like a registration fee or something like that. And it's like, okay, I understand what they... I, like I said, at the end of the day, this is all about business. This is all about money for them. They want that revenue streaming where they get some of that money that the used game sales make. And these retailers are making most of the money. I understand. I used to work in the game business. I know how it works. GameStop, I'm telling you, is a billion dollar business because of the used game sales. I understand the game publishers and developers want a piece of that revenue. Completely understand. It's all about money at the end of the day. Now, I'm hearing that there's a supposed, there's a supposed way where you can buy a brand new game. But if you want to play it at somebody else's house, you have to use the activation code or something like that. Then they kind of debunked that. Then it was, you can buy used games, but add a certain fee or whatever, or activation fee and like that. So, and then everybody was saying, well, Sony didn't mention that, but where's the rumor now on the internet? That's not completely true. 
It's like they, it's not going to have, you're not going to have one console and publishers wanting for this console, but not this one. That's just not going to happen. It's going to happen on both of them, which they just haven't really, I mean, gave us any information on. So it's kind of one of those situations where you got to wait to E3. I guess this, they're going to specify everything there. Don't know what they might do. Like I said, I don't work for Microsoft. I don't work for Sony, so I don't know what they're going to do with Let's talk about price. And the price, is, price range I'm looking at is $500. That's just what I'm looking at, period. For the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, I think it's going to be $500. Because the Xbox gave you 8 core CPU, 8 gigs of RAM, a 500 gig hard drive. Oh, and another thing, I'm glad I'm, I'm bringing this up. You get a 500 gig hard drive with the Xbox, but mandatory install for each game. So you got Blu ray disc with a mandatory install for each game. Some of these games might be 25 gigs, so how many gigs will you have to install for each game? That's one of the questions they didn't answer, but it's just like I said, uh, hopefully they will specify everything in E3. Now with the PS4, will they show the system? They're going to have to. It's E3. If you're trying to launch your system by the holiday season, you got to show the system. You're going to have to do it. They're going to have to show the system. You can't not have not show the system and have it come out in November or whatever, or whenever, October, November. What I want to say is I'm not really impressed with either one of them so far. I have not seen a game where I got to get that system for that game. And yeah, like I said, you're going to be charging close to five hundred dollars for it. maybe four hundred fifty, maybe for maybe four hundred. You never know. But I mean, to me, it's just it's one of those type of situations where I like I'm not really impressed with either one. They both got Blu-ray players. They both want to have okay online services, but the games like Microsoft said they're going to have about fifteen exclusives. That's what they say. What you say and what you do is two different things. So we're gonna have to wait and see. So this is the end of this video. I just I just I just wanna do a little vent right here. So please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this whole PS4, Xbox One, use games, price, online services, um registration fees or activation codes, whatever. Leave your comments down below let me know what you think. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please rate and subscribe to my channel and hit that like button down below. See you guys later.